Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge. And today we are talking about Amazon Web Services Top 50 Interview Questions with their relevant answers. This is the part 2 of the video. You can check the part 1 in the description below. Let's begin. What is AWS Identity and Access Management Policy? IAM policies are JSON documents that define permissions for users, groups and roles in AWS. They specify what actions are allowed or denied on which AWS resources. What are the different types of EC2 instances? There are various types of EC2 instances optimized for different workloads such as general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized and accelerated computing instances. What is AWS Direct Connect? AWS Direct Connect is a dedicated network connection between your on-premises data center or office and AWS. It provides a more consistent network experience and can reduce data transfer cost. Explain the difference between Elastic Beanstalk and AWS OpsWorks. Elastic Beanstalk is a platform as a service offering that simplifies the deployment and management of applications, while OpsWorks is a configuration management service that helps automate provisioning and managing of infrastructure. What are the benefits of using AWS for businesses? Some benefits of using AWS for businesses include flexibility and scalability of services, cost effectiveness by paying only for what you use, global reach with data centers around the world, reliability and security, and a wide range of cloud services to choose from. What is Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive? Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive is a storage class within Amazon S3 Glacier that is designed for long-term data archival and digital preservation at a very low cost. It is ideal for data that is accessed once or twice a year. Explain Amazon VPC Endpoints Amazon VPC Endpoints enable you to privately connect your VPC to supported AWS services without requiring any internet gateway, NAT device or VPN connection. This helps keep the traffic within the AWS network and enhances security. What is the difference between Amazon RDS and Amazon Aurora? Amazon RDS is a managed database service that supports several database engines including MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, SQL Server and MariaDB. Amazon Aurora is a MySQL and PostgreSQL compatible relation database built for the cloud, providing high availability and performance. Explain the concept of ephemeral storage in EC2 instances. Ephemeral storage is temporary storage that is directly attached to EC2 instances. Any data stored in ephemeral storage will be lost if the instance is stopped or terminated. It is ideal only for temporary data or caching. What is Amazon CloudWatch Logs? Amazon CloudWatch Logs is a monitoring and log management service provided by AWS for collecting, viewing and storing log files generated by AWS resources. It helps you centralize logs and monitor system, application and AWS resource logs in real time. What is AWS Key Management Service? AWS Key Management Service is a managed service that makes it easy for you to create and control encryption keys used to encrypt your data. It integrates with various AWS services to provide a secure way to manage the keys. Explain the concept of cross-origin resource sharing in Amazon S3. Cors is a mechanism that allows web applications running in browsers to request resources from a different domain than the one that served the web page. In Amazon S3, you can configure course rule on your buckets 
to control access from different origins. What is AWS Cloud Formation and how does it work? AWS Cloud Formation is a service that allows you to create and manage a collection of related AWS resources by defining them in a template file. Cloud Formation provisions and configures the resources in a safe, repeatable manner. Explain the difference between Amazon S3 and Amazon EFS. Amazon S3 is an object storage service used for storing and retrieving vast amount of data. Whereas Amazon EFS is a scalable file storage service for use with EC2 instances providing shared file storage for multiple instances. SQS FIFO queue Amazon SQS First In First Out queue is a message queuing service that preserves the order in which messages are sent and received. It ensures that messages are processed in the exact order they are received. Explain Amazon DynamoDB and its key features. Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service provided by AWS. It offers low latency, high performance and scalable storage with features such as automatic scaling, built-in security and seamless integration with other AWS services. What is Amazon Elastic Container Service? Amazon ECS is a fully managed container orchestration service that allows you to easily run, manage and scale containerize applications using Docker containers. It integrates with other AWS services such as Elastic Load Balancing and CloudWatch. What is AWS CloudTrail and how does it help with compliance and security? AWS CloudTrail is a service that logs account activity related to actions across your AWS infrastructure. It helps with compliance by providing a record of API calls made on your account and aids in security by enabling detection and investigation of suspicious activity. Explain the concept of AWS CloudFront CDN. AWS CloudFront is a content delivery network service that speeds up the distribution of your web content, videos and other static files. It caches content at edge locations around the world to reduce latency and improve user experience. What is the AWS Well-Architected Framework? The AWS Well-Architected Framework provides best practices and guidance to help you build secure, high-performing, resilient and efficient infrastructure on AWS. It consists of five pillars, operational excellence, security, reliability, performance efficiency, and cost optimization. What is Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service? Amazon EKS is a managed service that makes it easy to deploy, manage, and scale containerized applications using Kubernetes on AWS. It eliminates the need to install and operate Kubernetes clusters allowing you to focus on your applications. Explain the concept of Amazon S3 event notifications. Amazon S3 event notifications enable you to automatically trigger notifications when certain events such as object creation, deletion or restore occur in an S3 bucket. You can use these notifications to automate workflows and process data. What is AWS Code Pipeline? AWS Code Pipeline is a continuous integration and continuous delivery service that automates the steps involved in building, testing, and deploying your code changes. It enables you to deliver updates to your applications quickly and reliably. What are Amazon Machine Images, also known as AMIs, and how are they used in AWS? AMIs are templates used to create virtual servers in AWS. They contain the operating system applications, data and configurations required to launch an instance. 
AMIs are used to launch instances quickly and consistently. What is Amazon Redshift? Amazon Redshift is a fully managed data warehouse service provided by AWS that is optimized for querying and analyzing large data sets. It enables you to run complex SQL queries on structured data and perform analytics at scale. Thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel, Fixing Knowledge. Stay tuned to see more learnings coming soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.